All praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Kakadash. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shah being the name of His only begotten Son, who they eagerly called Jesus Christ. Now we're going to get into the good news that Yahweh Shah brought out. And this good news is what he told uh, that was going to go to the four corners of the earth. What is it, man? Let me. I don't let me um get that verse. I don't want to misquote it. Matthew 24 and 14. He says the gospel or the good news of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations. See all nations need to hear what the kingdom is going to be about. And then shall the end come. See, when they was hearing that it was going to be a paradise, that was a lie. When they was hearing that the kingdom was going to be in the sky, sitting with God and some floating angels, that's a lie. You see, they wasn't hearing the kingdom. Now the kingdom, the good news is going out to the four corners because the children of Israel is pushing it. So when you go to Isaiah uh, 61, where well, Yahweh shall pull that in um, Luke 4, he said, um, they gave him the prophet, the book of the prophet Isaiah on the Sabbath day, and he stood up and he started preaching the good news. Verse 1, say the spirit of the Lord, is upon me because the Lord have anointed me to preach good news to the meek. He have sent me to bind up the brokenhearted and to proclaim, proclaim, proclaim liberty to the captives or to the slaves or to the captives, the one that was caught on the transatlantic slave trade and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. See, they were in prison of their minds. In prison to the lies of these devils. See, they're in prison of the lies of these religions, Muslim, Christian, Buddhism, Hinduism, Egyptology. See, they're in prison in these uh, philosophies. But when they hear these good news, the Spirit of the Lord is going to be upon them. And upon the men that's pre presenting these things. Verse 6. This is uh, Isaiah. Let me jump straight to the point. Isaiah 61. Uh, verse 6 is where I want to get. It says... Um, but ye shall be named the priest of the Lord. Who shall be named the priest of the Lord? In verse 3, it tells you to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. See, Zion represented the children of Israel. He said he would make Zion a, a ever a eternal excellency. See, meaning the Israelites would be eternal uh, rulers. But this is how they're going to do it. Verse 6. Say, but you shall be named priests of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. Um, you shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall ye boast yourselves. And in their glory shall ye boast yourselves. See, we're going to boast when we are uh, taking the riches from the Gentile. Okay. Let's get some more details on that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Zechariah. Zechariah 14 and 14. It says, And Judah shall also fight at Jerusalem. And the wealth of all the heathen round about shall be gathered together 
gold and silver and apparel. Now let's put this on the on the screen. Salafia. Okay. Let's get it in Revelation. Revelation 21 and 12. It says, And had a wall great and high and twelve gates, and had great Salaki. Let me get the context. Verse 10, it says, And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me the great city. See, now you got the Israelites in captivity in the great city Babylon un under the Edomites. See, the Edomites have a great city. And so they was given that first blessing. When you go into um, Numbers 24 and 20, it tells you Amalek was going to be the first of the nation. They was going to have that first rulership. Because Esau came out first. You see. Now Jacob. He was going to have the one. To follow with. And he was going to get the blessing of Abraham. And that was going to also be a great city. Just how these so called Edomites. Is running their system. This is how. Uh, um, the nation of Israel. Is going to run their system. In a similar fashion. But it's going to be in righteousness. And it's going to be in order. Not going to be in out of order and in wickedness. So it says, And he showed me that great city, that holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from, from God. So it's going to come out of heaven or the sky and come and be on the earth. And this is talking about the people. But verse 12 is going to tell you about when it hit the... um earth and be on in the on the ground verse 12 is saying he had a and and had a wall and had a wall great and high and 12 gates and at the 12 great gates and at the gates 12 angels salafia and names written thereon which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of israel okay so when you go into it it's going to tell you when the children of Israel is ruling. Verse 18, and the building of the wall of it was of Jasper, and the city was pure gold like unto clear glass. See, this is the kingdom that the Israelites is going to have. Okay, let's get to um, the other Gentile. 24, it says, and the nations, that means other people that's not of the Israelites, and the nations of them which are saved, meaning they didn't die in the destruction of World War II, II World War Three, Armageddon, and Babylon the Great, and the battle between uh, Yahweh Shah and these kings of the earth, uh, which them which are saved shall walk in the light of it and the kings of the earth see the kings of the earth that's still that's alive at that time do bring their glory and honor into it so they're gonna bring their riches into the kingdom of the israelites these other nations Look at verse 26. It says, And they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. The riches of the Gentiles will be brought into the kingdom of the Israelites. And the Israelites is going to reign forever. See, if we take the kingdom, it's not going to be, we going to uh, be rich off of these take the riches off the Gentiles for a little while. We taking the riches off the Gentiles forever. And this is the good news, man. Verse uh, 18, it says, But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Okay, Revelation 13 
and 10. Here goes some more good news. It says, He that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. See, we is going to uh, take the kingdom and we're going to throw these other nations into slavery and take their riches. Verse 5, chapter 5, verse 10, it says, And he made us unto our God kings and priests. See, that would say they would call us the priests of the Lord, kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. And it's talking about the Israelites. It's not talking about all nations. See, the witness is going to go out to all nations that the Israelites is going to be ruling in the city of gold. You see? And this is the good news. So I'm going to leave it there. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakadash. Double honors to the elders pushing the truth. Peace to the elect worldwide. Our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.